How's it going? Uh, first of all, you know, what, what can I say about the fight? Uh, Adrian Broner was, was good at what he did, uh, which was move around a lot. And, you know, his promises to sit there and exchange, I think those went out the window after the first round. But, uh, again, he, he's good at what he did. He's good at what he does. And uh, I can't take that away from him. He, he moves really well in the ring. Questions for John Molina, Jr.? John, uh, there's a lot of different opinions on Adrian Broner. When he was first coming up, people thought he could become one of the best fighters in boxing. Uh, people think different things besides just that since his first defeat. Now that you've been in the ring with him, what do you think of Adrian Broner? Is he right now or could he be an elite talent or elite fighter in the sport? Well, he, he's definitely talented. At, like I said before, he's talented at what he does, which is he was, uh, you know, hitting and not getting hit and didn't want to sit there and exchange. You, safety first type deal, which you can't be mad at that because this is what the sport is, hit and not get hit, although it's not appealing to some of the fans. But stylistically, we thought it was going to make for a barn burner, but stylistically it, it didn't make for what we thought it was going to make for. You know, and, and unfortunately, you know, I wanted to push it there, sit there and exchange it. As you guys saw in the last round, I had to sit in the middle because all he was doing was on his bicycle. Again, did he beat me? Yes. I don't want to discredit what he did. What he did, he, he stuck to his game plan and came out victorious. But with that being said, don't promise the world you're going to try to sit there and knock me out and then be on your bicycle. John, over here. Uh, throughout the bout, did you feel like that you were sticking to your game plan? and Or the, are there anything that you could think of that could have you could have done differently. Well, he, like I said, he was really, really good at, at being, uh, you know, elusive in there. He, he really was. He by far is one of the slickest guys that I've been in there with as far as being able to utilize his elusiveness. Um, you know, to, to, and then, man, I, I hate saying, well, what about this or what about that? But, you know, I have a referee, Bird, um, who's a hell of a referee, but he, 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 he's telling me, you know, you're leading with your head. If I'm not mistaken, leading with your head is, a, is like an amateur rule. I mean, how are you supposed to, you're supposed to lean, lean in with your head up so you can get hit? I mean, I don't, I don't get that. So I really felt like at times my only way to get inside of Adrian Broner is to go forward. And by going forward and then I'm getting howled or, or if I'm leading with my head or they think I'm leading with my head and I'm, I'm battling the referee telling me, you don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. So, I mean, again, Adrian Broner did what he had to do to, to be victorious. He's very elusive in there. He's a... a He's a lot more elusive than I, than I anticipated. I, I will give him that. Um, but the, at the end of the day, uh, you know, styles make fights, and this one was just uh, stylistically, it didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen. John, over here. John, somewhere in the mid to late rounds, the referee broke you and Adrian up, and you guys were kind of jawing at each other. Can you enlighten us on what that conversation was about? Now you got to remember, when you're in a fight, I mean, sometimes uh, being in a fight is, is a, I don't want to say it's an emotional event, but, it, I mean, sometimes you have choice words for each other because at that moment in time, there's another man across the ring from you that's, A, trying to knock you out, and, you know, and I'm trying to knock him out. So, of course, you're not going to be like, oh, well, by the way, don't hit me. Like, you're going to be like, no, I'm going to kick your, you know what. So, I mean, there was a few choice words, all part of the, all part of the fight, and, uh, you know, it could be some psychological warfare. It could be just being a tough guy. But, you know, it was just words that were exchanged between both of us and nothing bad, nothing, I, nothing I'm going to lose sleep over. But, uh, you know, again, uh, I, I'm just disappointed in, in what I brought to the table. I felt like I could have brought a lot more. Again, stylistically, he stuck to his game plan, and it worked well for him. John, over here. Hey, John, uh, usually uh, you throw a lot of punches. Adrian Broner, he stood right in front of you for the majority of the fight, but you didn't really get off the way you usually do. Did you respect him too much? No, no, I, I really don't think it was that. It, it, it was the elusiveness. Um, if he was staying right in front of me like he was, it was still out of reach for me to throw my punches. I would let my hands go, but it just, it would either, once I start taking off, he had a really good defense of, of grabbing me right away or, or being elusive to get out of the way. So I really don't think it was a lack of me being able to throw punches. It would have been like me shadow boxing in there if I continued to just throw punches, and it, was, it wouldn't have worked out in my favor. Obviously, it didn't anyways, but what I'm saying is if I would have just sat there and threw punches, there would have been no one there to sit there and exchange with. One, that's credit to his defense. His defense was exceptional. And uh, two, again, it was a, a different uh, 
a different enigma that I've ever dealt with in there. He is, he's pretty slick in there. Well, of course, it's always this game. This game is to, to be able to adjust. Um, again, this is the first time I was in there with Adrian Broner, and he's definitely a talent. He's, he's slick, but uh, you know, sit there and exchange, uh, and and let, let's fight. But he did what he had to do to become victorious. More questions for John Molina Jr. Raise your hand, please. John, thanks very much. Thank you, guys.